Uterine balloon tamponade or UBT is a medical device which helps manage postpartum hemorrhage and can save lives. Anita is a skilled birth attendant at a primary health care facility. Every day, she helps deliver babies. She knows that there may be an emergency case of postpartum hemorrhage with any of these deliveries. Hence, she ensures that she always has Dr. Burke's ESN UBT kit available in her facility in an easily accessible place. Today at the health facility, one of her patients, Jaya, is in the second stages of labor. Anita helps deliver Jaya's baby, but Jaya continues to bleed heavily even after the delivery. Anita knows that some bleeding after a baby is born is normal. However, if a mother's uterus does not contract after the birth of the placenta, the bleeding can become severe. This is a life-threatening emergency called postpartum hemorrhage or PPH. Anita calls for help and when other interventions like oxytocin, carbitocin, bimanual, aortic compression and uterine massage are unable to stop the bleeding, Anita knows that Jaya is losing too much blood and this is now an emergency. Anita must now use Dr. Burke's ESM UBT kit. Anita then puts on sterile gloves and opens and assembles the UBT kit. Kit contains a Foley catheter with a one-way valve inserted at one end, a large 50 ml syringe, two pieces of o-ring, two condoms, two iodine wipes, a catheter holder and a user manual. Anita inserts the Foley catheter halfway into the condom balloon, leaving a small portion of the condom beyond the tip of the catheter. She then carefully wraps one silicone o-ring four times around the base of the balloon, which ensures it is neither too loose to allow the saline to leak, neither so tight that it will prevent the inflow of the liquid. She then disinfects the balloon using the iodine wipes provided in the kit. She inserts Dr. Burke's ESM UBT into the bleeding uterus, making sure that it is inserted through the cervical opening and into the uterus and that it is not just in the vagina. If the balloon is inflated in the vagina, it may not address bleeding from within the uterus. She draws normal saline into the syringe and attaches it to the catheter at the opening used to fill the smaller Foley balloon. She pushes 15 milliliters of normal saline through the catheter into the Foley balloon. Anita then draws 50 milliliters normal saline into the syringe and attaches it to the one-way valve in the catheter. She pushes normal saline into the main condom balloon inside the uterus. As the balloon fills with saline, it inflates. She repeats this action using as much saline as necessary to stop the bleeding. This usually requires 300 to 500 milliliters normal saline. Each time Anita removes the syringe to refill the blue one-way valve, the catheter prevents the saline from coming back out. As Anita continues to add saline, the balloon inflates and puts pressure on the inside of the uterus, which is where the bleeding is coming from. This pressure stops the bleeding and Anita now fixes the catheter holder onto Jaya's thigh to ensure the UBT remains in place. If the bleeding does not stop, Anita should check that the UBT is correctly positioned and that there is no other source of bleeding. If the bleeding does not stop within 15 minutes of insertion of the UBT, Jaya should immediately be referred to the closest health facility with a surgical facility with the UBT in place. If the bleeding stops after the insertion of the UBT, the balloon must remain inside the uterus for at least 6 to 24 hours. Anita checks regularly to be sure that Jaya is no longer bleeding and her uterus has contracted. She also regularly checks Jaya's vital signs such as pulse rate and blood pressure and the uterine fundal height while the balloon is in place. 
It is also important to monitor Jaya's early urine output. When Jaya has been stable for at least 12 to 24 hours with the uterus fundus remaining at the same level and there is no active vaginal bleeding, Anita can slowly deflate the UBT by letting out 50 to 100 milliliters of saline every hour in order to deflate the UBT. Anita attaches the syringe to the catheter and slowly draws out one or two syringes full of saline to lower the pressure without taking out the balloon. She monitors Jaya's condition for 60 minutes. If the bleeding starts again, Anita must refill the balloon with normal saline and arrange for Jaya to go to the nearest referral centre where blood transfusion and surgery services are available. If there's no bleeding, Anita uses the syringe to remove all the normal saline from the balloon. After the balloon has been fully deflated for 30 minutes and if there is no further vaginal bleeding, Anita deflates the small folly balloon and then removes the UBT from the uterus completely. Anita continues to monitor the vaginal bleeding and take Jaya's vital signs to make sure her uterus is firmly contracted. In most cases, the UBT will successfully stop the bleeding. Jaya and her baby are safe and healthy.